field of nine, locked away. That's it, under orders, and they're away. Who's going to lead? Double trigger, desperate to get there, and he goes on in the early stages from Cannon Can, but Gray Shot having his first start for five and a half months. Now goes up, and uh, the old rivals, they're wide apart at the moment. Gray Shot on the left with the noseband, on the right, the white face of Double Trigger. They've got a history of taking each other on and uh, putting each other into the deck, so let's see how they go today. Three lengths away, then in third is Cannon Can, followed by Yorkshire, and then Brimming. Back in the field is Three Cheers in the early stages, followed then by Cape Tara, who's right out the back as they continue their journey downhill now. Also back with Cape Tara, Sam Run and Celeric at the rear of the field, a very good gallop as you'd expect, and the leader is Grey Shot. Grey Shot on the near side by a length and a half for Olivier Pallier from Double Trigger. Daryl Holland riding him along and anxious to get up there. They're three lengths in advance now of Cannon Can as they come towards this very sharp right-handed turn and they make it okay. Then further back behind Cannon Can as they start to climb uphill is Yorkshire who just had to be checked off his heels there. Then brimming on the near side from Cape Tara and Sam Rahn right there in the centre. They're followed by three cheers and two lengths away as Celeric. Grey Shot out in front, blazing the trail in this Goodwood Cup. Grey Shot, one of uh, three runners in the race, entered for the Melbourne Cup in November. A record European entry of 40 for that race. And he shows the way here by half a length, the double trigger on the outside, just being niggled along. Four lengths away, then in third is Cannon Can, two lengths the brimming, is tucked away on the inside. Yorkshire is up there as well as they sort themselves out, and Cape Tara not that far away. Four or five lengths then to Sam Run, followed by three cheers and Celeric just getting a move on from the back. Well, they're still going stride for stride as they head up over the far side now, about to start this stiff uphill climb towards home now. They've got just over six and a half furlongs to go. And on the left, it's Grey Shot being uh, tried to be tackled by the double trigger with his big white face there on the outside. He's been hard at work throughout. Half a length away, Cannon Can from Brimming, and then out wider is Yorkshire, followed by Cape Tara, who's coming into it well. Then Celeric from Sam Run and two lengths, then the three cheers. Oh, maybe a bit more, six or seven, as they start to charge downhill, less than five furlongs to travel. The leader on the far side is Grey Shot in the Goodwood Cup, two lengths to double trigger. Then Cannon Can, who's coming there pretty strongly, followed then by Yorkshire behind them. Then Brimming, followed by Cape Tara, called on for an effort from Celeric. Sam Run is giving them about six or seven length start. Straightening up now at a little over three furlongs to go in the Goodwood Cup. Grey Shot is still there. Cannon Can is racing to him quickly on the near side. Double trigger can't find much more. Yorkshire going well. Followed then by Cape Tara Celeric running a big race. Racing up now towards the two and the leader is Cannon Can from Grey Shot. Yorkshire now called on for an effort from Double Trigger and Cape Tara. They're clear then of Celeric and three cheers down the outside. A furlong and a half left to go. Cannon Can the leader in the Goodwood Cup. Cape Tara raising another effort. Double Trigger coming back as well. Inside the furlong. Can he do it? Double Trigger reaching deep for reserves of stamina. He's going to outstay the ball and win his third Goodwood Cup. It's double trigger and goes on to win the Goodwood Cup. What a mighty performance. Second does Cannon Can, tight third. Celeric and three cheers. Followed by Cape Tara, Yorkshire, then Grey Shot. Followed then by Sam Rad and Brimming is last to finish. But he's done it. Three Goodwood Cups, double trigger. What a mighty performance. He's beaten Cannon Can. It's tight for third here between Celeric on the far side and three cheers the near side. That's a photo for third. And in fifth place is Cape Tara. In sixth is Yorkshire. And you can see the others are some way behind. They've really outstayed them. Grey shot the early leader coming in in seventh position. And uh, a long way to the others. But have a look at him. And he should be proud as well. What an outstanding staying performance. He was up there. He was niggling at him all the way, Daryl Collin. And he's come back to create history here today. A third Goodwood Cup. Double trigger, owned by Ron Huggins, trained by Mark Johnson, ridden by Daryl Holland, the winner. Second is number four, Cannon Can, trained by Henry Cecil, ridden by Kieran Fallon. And third, a very, very close for third between... Number one, Celeric, and eight, three, cheers. Let's have a look now at the closing stages once again.
Well, sometimes you just can't say what a tremendous performance something is. You can't find the words to express it, but this is so gutsy, so brave. He looked totally out of the race. He looked like he'd given up the ghost, but he comes again to take the lead off can and can. And do you get braver racehorses than this one? Well, he's uh, abs absolutely fantastic. He's, this is the th third year on the trot. He's won this race. That's creating history. And we go back a long way at Goodwood. Cannon Can looked as though he had got the race won. Kieran Fallon riding for all he's worth. But Darrell Holland gets that little bit out of the old trigger and here. Look at, look his, at his tongue yeah. hanging, lobbing around. He said, this is easy. This is my race. I'm going to win it again. And he did. And three cheers came from virtually tailed off just to miss out uh, on third place because Celerix beat him a short head for third place. What a brave race Celerick has run as well. And that fella just going through the picture there, Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Don't back him too often because he came there as if he was going to kill everybody and found absolutely nothing. Possibly they're running him too far. But there he is, the hero. And Jimmy Lindley oh. says about his tail, it's one of the few horses that uh, Mark Johnson doesn't flat up. And it seems to work on the old fella because he's just starting to put oh. consistent form Oh no, it is absolute. I'm, I'm over the moon with this. Oh, it's just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And he will be cheered from there all the way into the winner's enclosure. That is, without doubt, the most popular winner that we have seen here for a very, very long time. Mark Johnston, I suspect, will have tears rolling down his face. And if he hasn't, his wife, Deirdre, certainly will.